But so many young kids now in Jamaica just have so, so looked up to him and their numbers have just increased in participation since he became a champion. All right, the high school boys, four by 400 championship is underway, a three turn stagger. So they'll stay in their lanes for the first lap plus. Calabar in the green, coming into your screen. That's Malik James King, a great 400 hurdler. Jamaica College off to a much stronger start. They have eaten up the stagger on Calabar. So Jamaica College came late. They had not shown up to the start line. They were listed as a DNS, and then after the gun, popped back out, ran the in in lane five. So All Jamaica right. College is there, Calabar as well, and then out in lane nine, we have Edwin Allen. That is so interesting, Jamaica College getting there at the very last second to run this race. Oh, fantastic first leg by Calabar. They're trying to put this thing away early, get a big lead and make everybody else chase them. It was Malik James King's first, now it's Anthony Danvers for Calabar, and boy, they are rolling away. Remember, watch that record time of 3.08.59. Anthony Danvers pulling away from the rest of the group. See if he can carry it over on the back half. Jamaica College still running in second. This is Jamaica College's Philip Lamonius, part of the team that won here two years ago. Calabar will get it off to Shamar Chambers next, a 46-18 PR. Calabar through the first 800 and 133. They're on a 306 relays record pace. This is a laugher right now for Calabar, and they have one of the world's best 18-year-olds waiting in the wing for the anchor. Jamaica College second, Petersfield is third. Here we go, Calabar turning for home. Only the anchor, Christopher Taylor, waiting. Looking to sweep the four by one, the four by four, and four by eight at the Penn Relays and stamp their dominance in Philadelphia. I don't know if these are their moms right there, but I love it. There's two ladies on the infield just going crazy. Here is Taylor after a 45-8 till from Chambers. He is maybe the best 18-year-old in the world over the 200 and 400. This the relay's record is 308. This young man could spell trouble for the USA in the years to come. Look at his tempo. Look at his turnover. He is just pumping away, driving, giving it his all to try to get this record. The fans have stayed, and they've stayed to see Christopher Taylor. They are all on their feet here in Franklin Field. 100 meters to go for Taylor. A new record would be under 308.59. They are going to annihilate that record as they win the championship of America. 303.79 and a 44.84 for Taylor. Wow. There is winning and there is dominating. The three day carnival that is the Penn Relays is underway. College men's 4x400 four Championship of America presented by Core Power. Well, this is a good opportunity for Houston to see where they are in relationship to a lot of other 4x400 four teams in the country. Because if, if they, if they want to have a chance at a team title at the NCAAs, it could very well come down to the 4x4. Four four. They need to know that the people they put in place are going to be able to handle it. Houston starting strong with a 400 runner in Latin, ending with a 200-400 runner in Montgomery. They're putting their two 100-200 guys, Burke and Burrell, in the middle, extending them to the 400. Cordell Lamb running well for Clemson. They'll have some strength in the back end of this race. But how about the start here for Amir Latin, the 400 hurdler from Houston. Auburn makes the exchange. Akeem Bloomfield, the NCAA indoor runner up, has the baton. One of two Jamaicans on this Auburn group. They come to the inside. Houston out in front. Second leg, Mario Burke. One of the top 20, 100 times in the country this year. 
Burke stretching it out in the 400, and they are in front. Look at the move by Akeem Bloomfield. Auburn was completely out of the picture. He has brought them all the way back. Bloomfield, the NCAA runner up in the 400. Remember, they still have Nathan Allen coming. Penn State's in it with Isaiah Harris set to close. Here is Cameron Burrell, the NCAA outdoor runner up in the 100. He has it for Houston. Let's see him stretch his wings in a 400 meter. Watching Carl Lewis in the infield is very distracting because he's got such a pace going, yelling at his guys. Burrell still leading for Houston. Mississippi State is up in the second with Rashid Tatham running this leg. Then it's Penn State followed by Auburn, but Auburn has the best anchor in the 400, Nathan Allen, fifth at the World Championships. Houston, Mississippi State, Penn State, and Auburn. Looks like it'll be Montgomery for Houston, battling Harris for Penn State, battling Mississippi State's anchor leg James, and battling Nathan Allen from Auburn as the Tigers look to repeat. We have hit the anchor leg after a 46-7-4 from Camberell. The whoops are starting because Nathan Allen, one of the top young runners in Jamaica, is on the track. He still has work to do, though. Houston is on top. Don't ever let it be said that short sprinters can't run the quarter. Cameron Burrell just proved them all wrong. 46-7-4 for Burrell. <laughs> and now Kamari Montgomery trying to close, but Nathan Allen's coming. The NCAA runner up last year of 44-1-9 PR. Has Houston left anything? Montgomery trying to hold off Allen. Auburn won this last year. They will not this time around. Houston dominates the sprints at Penn Relays, winning the four by one. 4x4, four four, and they win the 4x1 <laughs> in 3.01.82. Nice. You sleep anyway. I'm just. It's, it's only an hour and a half long. You don't yeah. need to sleep on We're that. fired up. It's going to be a fun morning tomorrow. It's been a great weekend. All right, we're off and running. College men's 4x400 four Eastern Championship. Villanova in six had the best time of these Eastern teams coming in. Bloomfield College in four running well. Outside in nine, that is Georgetown. Bloomfield College has already eaten up the stagger in four. That's Eddie Ogweni. A little bit of amplitude early coming out with uh, the adrenaline and booking the first 200. See if he can hold it coming home. Villanova still running well in six. So it's Villanova in first. They've got that one more staggered turn to come. So even though right now it looks like they're slightly behind Georgetown, they're actually ahead as here comes that staggered turn on the exchange. Keegan Hughes takes it for Villanova. Georgetown gives to Keno Cheltenham. Out in the eight, it is Ryder from New Jersey running well with Alvin Abraham. And now down low, look at Bloomfield. They kind of snuck up on us from four. Bloomfield, Samuel Klocki. One positive about being in lane four is you don't have to go anywhere. You're already on the rail when you <laughs> get through the three-turn stagger. Tangents. There, there's none. There's none. <laughs> How about Villanova pulling away on this second leg? Keegan Hughes ready to give it over to Daniel Powers, the next runner for the Wildcats. The Villanova fans that are here, Villanova students and runners that are still here, from their usual corner, I'm hearing a very faint Let's Go Nova chant. So they've hung around. They've had a great overall weekend. Five wheels going Villanova's way. The college women's distance medley, 4x8 and 4x15. The college men's distance medley and 4x mile championships all going across town to Villanova. Kerry, do they have to keep building new track cases? Is, is that how they can find the trophy room to fit all these trophies? Well, we do have a couple new hallways that we've added those in, and it's pretty amazing. They have a brand new locker room that display some of our things can, over there. Can you remember a, a pen relays hall quite this big? No, but I didn't. When I went there, that's what sold me. I was like, <laughs> there's all Americans, NCAA champions, and pen relays paraphernalia everywhere. The 48-4-5 from Villanova's Daniel Powers. Now it's Richard Bush on the anchor for Nova. Their Big East rival, Georgetown, coming right at him. Could this be a preview at the Big East Championships of what the end of the 4x4 is gonna look like? Georgetown's Nate Alleen. Shoulder to shoulder with Villanova's Richard Bush. Alleen has moved in front. Georgetown, a phenomenal flurry. They got a 47 in leg three. 
from Ray Rivera, the great 800 runner. And now Nate Elaine finishing things off. He has spun for home. And the Hoyas, Hoya Saxa, they take the East Championship in the college men's 4x400, closing in 46-6-6 for Elaine. Villanova second, and Monroe moves up to third, a 45-50 for Elijah Young to finish it off.